Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we'll be replacing the battery in a late 2008, mid-2009 MacBook Air. When replacing the battery in this machine, it's important that you calibrate the power management system in order to get the full use of your battery. We include these instructions as well, so be sure to watch all the way to the end of the video. We've already gathered our materials, shut down and unplugged the MacBook Air, and are working on a soft static-free surface. We are now ready to begin. The first step is to close the MacBook Air and flip it over. On the bottom, there are 10 Phillips screws which we'll need to remove. First, remove the two center screws along the hinge edge. These screws are longer than the others. Next, remove the two screws in the corners along the hinge edge. These two are shorter than the ones we just removed, but are still longer than the rest. The remaining six screws are all the same size. You can now lift the cover up and pull it slightly away from the front edge to loosen it from the case. Then set it aside. The next thing we'll want to do is disconnect the battery itself. All you need to do is slide the connector out of its socket. Now we can remove the screws holding the battery in place. Start with the four screws along the front edge, starting with the rightmost one. Next, we'll remove the five remaining screws, starting from the upper left corner and proceeding clockwise. The first four are slightly longer than the ones we just removed. The last one is considerably longer. Once you've removed the screws, you should be able to lift the battery up and out of your MacBook Air. Set your new battery into place, making sure all the holes and guides line up and it lays flat in the bay. We can then start replacing the screws. There are three different screw sizes that hold the battery in. Four smaller screws, four screws that are slightly longer, and one much longer one. Start with one of the middle-sized screws and use it to secure the upper left corner. Next, use the longest screw in the hole just beneath it. Then, use the remaining middle-sized screws in the center and two upper right positions. Finally, use the four smallest screws along the front edge, starting from the left. You should then loosen all these screws about a quarter turn or so, so that the stresses inside aren't too tight. You can now slide the battery connector back into its socket and we're ready to close up. Slide the front edge of the bottom cover into the frame so that it latches into place. There are three different length screws for the bottom cover. First, use the two longest screws in the center positions along the hinge edge. Next, use the next two longest in the corners along the hinge edge. Finally, use the remaining shorter screws to secure the remaining spots. You may now flip your MacBook Air over, open it up, and turn it on.
Now that the battery is installed and working, we need to calibrate the power system. We'll be demonstrating the process with a MacBook Pro, but it's the same for all MacBook models. First, shut your computer all the way down. Then, attach the power adapter. The light on the adapter should turn amber to show that the battery is charging. Once the battery is 100% charged, the light should turn green. Once it has, you should leave it connected for at least two more hours. However, you can use your computer during this time rather than leaving it off. After that, we'll need to discharge the battery. First, in the Energy Saver Preference pane, make sure all the sliders are set to the right and any power saving measures, like sleeping the hard drive, are turned off. Do this for both the power adapter and the battery settings. Once you've done that, disconnect the power cable and let the battery discharge completely until the computer shuts down. You can still use it at this time, but don't do anything particularly heavy. Steady and even usage will result in better power system calibration. Once the battery is discharged, your computer will automatically shut down. Leave it shut down for at least 5 hours to ensure the battery is completely drained. Finally, reattach the power cable and let the battery charge back up to 100%. This time, you can use the computer while it's charging. Once the battery is charged back up, the power management system is properly calibrated. You can now set your energy saver settings back to what they were before and use your computer normally.